Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a project and a product backlog in Visual Studio Online. That's Microsoft's implementation of Team Foundation Server in the cloud. Before we start, you may benefit from reviewing these two articles first. My starting point for this video corresponds with the end point of my last video titled Create a Visual Studio Online Account in 3 minutes or less. What I'll do now is to enter the name of my project, a brief description, leave the version control and process template fields at the default settings. The project landing page has a number of how-to links that are really useful. There's a great deal of information here relating to how we can create a product backlog. I'll return to our landing page and select the backlog link. The default state for this page is set up for enabling quick and easy entry of product backlog items. Perfect for what we're about to do. I'm going to enter some items just by typing in the title and pressing enter. This enables the fast creation of your product backlog. Good product backlog items have the attributes of a dove. That's description, order, value and estimate. I'll now return to the first item I created by double-clicking on it. I'll enter a description, the business value and effort. I'll work the ordering in a moment. Upon saving, note that the effort number is now shown in the tabular format of the product backlog, but business value is not. Let's change that. I'll click on column options and select business value from the left hand column. Move it to the right hand column and order it appropriately. I'll pause the video now while I repeat the data entry exercise for the other product backlog items. Following some story slicing, more on which in a later video, the product owner has decided on the relative ordering for the product backlog items. We'll reflect this in our product backlog by simply dragging and dropping the items into the correct order. And that's it. We've created a product backlog, added items to it, and detailed each item with a description, order, value and estimates. Next, I'll invite team members onto the project so we can collaborate. But that's for our next video, so do join me then. This is Derek Davidson of Webgate. Thanks for watching.